YouTube was good. Um, this camera can stop autofocusing great. What's good, YouTube? I finally got a whole setup. It's a whole setup I finally got here. I got dual monitors, I got the Elgato uh, game capture device, I got a proper camera setup here. I just need to figure out why I just can stop autofocusing. Um, but yeah, I'm finally back in here with a great new setup and also finally giving you guys another live reaction of a character that a lot of you guys have actually been requesting and I know a lot of people also been waiting on this this is a character that is still I'm sure researched on like how do you beat this character and um, yeah yeah we got some uh, how, how to deal with Harong that's the reaction we're doing today so as you can see I went three matches straight um, the guy only got a round max at most out of all the uh, matches here so out of the <laughs> three matches he only got two rounds on me and um, I haven't really reviewed it too much so we're gonna go ahead I'm just we're just gonna go dive in we're just gonna see how I deal with this and we're just gonna go based on reaction on how to deal with Harong here so the biggest thing I want to talk about is um, spacing right um, that's like key element number one when it comes to dealing with Harong spacing um, a lot of characters sometimes may not have good tools to deal with spacing characters so um, it, it's important that you go this is when you need to lab your character right what what options does your character have to deal with situations where you need to space out your opponent but then you need to catch those mistakes right so it's important that you go ahead and you actually learn those tools for your character so in this case armor king has uh, a lot of great tools here to deal with uh with punishments um and spacing overall so it's important that we actually use that to our advantage um and you're gonna see exactly right here i want to say i want to say the first thing he does is attacks as soon as the round starts and what i do is backdash I can't remember for certain. We'll see what happens. So we got the Harong of an interesting haircut. Classic Armor King skin going on over here. Let's see what happens. What did I tell you? This is why it's important you, you backdash every match. If I haven't said this before, as soon as you start a match, backdash. Just backdash. The first thing that your opponent does will say a lot about how the rest of the match is going to go. In this case, this Harong went and just completely threw out a kick. I don't know what kick that is. I'm not a Harong player. I could, If I would have had a better anticipation of this, I probably could have easily would have went and probably did a dark upper... A big punishment, but anyway, it's the beginning of the match. Not even a second has gone by. Let's see what I do. So we're just doing some checks, right? So as you saw here, look, the counter hit already happened. But if we go over to where the beginning of the round, right? We're just checking him. We're doing a down forward four, down forward one, excuse me, down forward one, back four to see if he likes ducking. Right, space out. I want to do a down two, right, to kind of catch him approaching. Right, just, again, just testing the waters here. Then, of course, because I whiffed, right, and it was a kind of a safe option. I want to say, like a safe down two is kind of a safe option. Nothing too crazy, um, but it co recovers pretty good, in my opinion. And uh, because of that, I decided to do a down four two, as you see here, and I get the counter hit. We trade, but the trade is in my favor now, right? quick sidestep to get the shining wizard and now um we're gonna go ahead and see what okizeme is for a horong player right um again the first time you get your opponent on the ground again is gonna say a lot about your about the, how the rest of the match is gonna go right so i'm gonna do the, i'm gonna do a wave dash and i'm gonna do a 442 to see if i can catch um anything going on in this case he immediately got up and uh, he immediately is going to go ahead and do uh, do a sidestep right here. I catch him in the sidestep, wave dash pressure, do another forward forward two just in case he's afraid to um, 
he's afraid of a low coming up, right? Because it's pretty common if uh, in the beginning of the match, you're kind of like, oh, I'm gonna do a mid and then I'm gonna do a low and I'm gonna go back mid, right? You don't ever wanna do like a, a sequence of like a mid, low, mid, low, or mid, high, mid, high, right? That's easily a pattern. A better opponent's gonna be able to easily see that pattern way sooner in the match. So sometimes throw out the, what is it called? The, the no mix up mix up, right? So in this case, it didn't really do anything. I wanted to try to get a wall splat, nothing. But we have momentum here, right? We have momentum and we're putting pressure on this Horong because we got that counter hit. But now, because of the fact that two times, right? Two times that uh, I, I went and I approached with that forward forward two and then he blocked the second one, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a step back, right? We're gonna now, it's kind of his turn. And already, already. Already it's happening. Space out your opponent and catch the whiff punishments. In this case, Armor King's back 1-2 is a great, great ranged attack. Surprisingly. Surprisingly for a punish. It's like 32 damage now. Plus frames, tombstone. Round 1. If you play King Armor King, just please use those grabs. Use them, especially in ranked. So... I know the biggest thing that we talk about, uh, the biggest thing I think a lot of people talk about is how do you deal with Harong when you have this tornado of kicks coming along, right? We're gonna we're gonna see that here, I believe, in this match. Um, but the biggest thing is just defend, defend, and just play patient and start implementing sidewalks, side steps. Use your movement. Um, your movement is your biggest tool that you can get out of a lot of stuff when it comes to Harong. See that? And then just a random duck just to see because I, I had a feeling I we're not going to talk about what I did over there. I'm rusty. Okay. Um, gosh, that, that drop completely disoriented me. It's gonna, That's going to happen. That's going to happen. Don't worry. It's, you're going to get caught by it once. Anyways. We go back to that uh, the end of the second round over there. I want to go ahead and actually talk about round two. more towards the end of that round Fight. here. So if we go, yeah. So right around here is when this whole wrong starts putting pressure. Right, this is where the moment we're like, what do I do? Again, you just space out. You're just gonna space out, and you're gonna just block. Don't worry about lows. Those are quick lows. There's nothing you can do about those lows. If he's going to throw a low, just eat it. What's the worst thing to happen? Is it 10 damage, 8 damage? Who cares, right? Just eat those lows and block the mids. The mids are the ones that are actually going to really hurt, right? Space them out. That's going to happen, right? So here we go. A billion damage. Pressure. See that? I did a small sidestep. And I spaced him out and then back one two again because that range is just insane for, for, for Armor King Punish. Now, why did I go for a 4 2 1? Because a lot of people expect when plus frames are involved, a grab is going to happen. So that's a big one. Don't always use plus frames to use grabs. Sometimes plus frames just means it's your turn. It doesn't mean like plus range attack attack attack. That's not that's not what's happening here. Plus range is just your turn. See what happens next, and then that next move after your plus range determines what you do next, right? I really wish I would take my own advice. Um, space them out. It's gonna happen. Eat them. Who cares? See, when you go ahead and you start spacing your opponent out that's when you can start implementing some offense here. So we go back over here to what I did, All right? I'm eating some lows. That was that was a good move in the neutral, I would say. I could have easily walked into that, right? But in this case, because we know it's Haram, we're gonna just, mm, no, no. Shiny Wizard doesn't break it, right? In this case, now I'm like, oh, we might be able to start doing some, some throws. See what happens. See that? In this case, we also are aware of when we should not attack, right? You need to be aware of when you should not attack, even when you are a plus. Forward, forward, neutral, too. Um, it does have some plus frames. 
and I do a down forward three to check any counter hits. That's a classic setup, honestly. You just do a four four neutral two and then down forward three. You get some nice counter hits, but don't rely on it too much because in the higher levels it doesn't really work and it's a very sidesteppable move. So just just be wary of that, right? So now we do this down forward three, it gets blocked. It's not our turn anymore. Alright. So in this case, let's start going ahead and kind of doing a deep dive on into the frames here. Okay. Alright. I'm plus seven, right? Down four, three on block leaves me a minus five. It is not my turn. Plus seven, not my turn. But you see all that twisty bull crap is happening over there? When Horong is doing this with their body, Establish, establish some domination there, right? Establish like, no, you're not gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna give you the opportunity to, to dance around me, right? Oh God, this camera is just, please, autofocus. Don't let that happen. If you see that happening, go ahead and start establishing some control and momentum in the, in the, in the match here. So as you see, if I did here, go back down in three. See that? Back one. Make sure they hurts. Make sure it hurts. Shining Wizard. Shining Wizard at the... Wizard? Wait, I don't know if I said that right. Shining Wizard at the wall. When you do a Shining Wizard at the wall, it's going to leave some really, really great Oki for, um, for Armor King. It doesn't really work out so much with uh, at the neutral in an open space. But if you do it towards a wall, it's going to leave you at a really nice, I would say, good area. So as you can see here, look up where I'm at. Now, I duck because I wasn't really expecting expecting this dude to like actually do a spring kick. I was not expecting that. And we lost momentum. He went and uh, it looks like he established a lot of range between me and him. Which, rightfully so, he's in a life deficit. Definitely get some range because I can kill you in just one throw here. Block. I could have severely punished him. If I would have known that he was going for something big, I think I would have done a dark arpa, upper. Um, I would have done. I would have done something a, a much much bigger punishment. But I wasn't really mentally prepared for that. And that's the thing. Just to, just just to emphasize on that, certain characters have certain moves that you have to just be aware of constantly. You know when. Horong, Horong has a back three. You just have to be aware of that, especially if his back is turned. If his back is turned, if we look over here, that right there, easy setup. Plus six frames, leaves a lot of room. Don't attack, don't attack when you get hit with that move. I'm not sure that's a running move I wanna say, or a four, four, three, I don't know. I don't know, I don't play Horong. <laughs> I could have gotten something good. Okay, so that's minus 13, it says. So it looks like 13, you just do a back 1-2. Um, I think standing back 3 on Harong is punishable, I want to say. Um, so in this case, I could have gotten a better punish. The pushback kind of messed me up. I wasn't mentally aware, but if you're mentally aware of this move, punish it. Now he's throwing some down forward 2s. Immediately, with, if you're facing an opponent that has a down forward 2, Right? I believe really like Paul, Horong, uh, Leo, um, this is a couple other characters. I think, no, Josie's, Josie's is minus 10 or 11. I don't know. But, um, those moves you have to also be aware of because that's such a safe, like, range launcher. It's bullcrap, honestly, in my opinion. I feel like it should be unsafe at the most and it shouldn't have such range. But, Immediately for me, I'm like, oh, great. Now I got to be careful for that move, right? See? 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 <laughs> See? See? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Anyways, this is why now we have to be much more careful with approaching. He doesn't have rage yet, but a, a one good combo to the wall can really put me in a really bad area, honestly. But he doesn't know how to break throws. And he doesn't know how to get up from him. So, with that being said, um, hmm. I'll do a part two to this because 
honestly, one match against Harong isn't enough. It really isn't. It really, it really isn't enough. Um, but we have two other matches to go, so I will more than likely do a part two, and uh, we're gonna see if this person actually gets some kind of downloads me. I mean, clearly. I still won the matches, but we're gonna see if there's gonna be any improvement from this Horong's end, right? Because obviously he won a round, but how did he win the round? That's what matters, right? And then that's how we deal with a, a longer set between the same opponent. Um, also, coming up too, um, I have um, how to deal with Lily as well. Um, let's see, yeah, I have Lily that we're gonna make some uh, live reactions to. Some uh, Lydia's. This is a really good Lydia match, but um, I think I lost. But yeah, um, Leo, we're not, we're not gonna talk about that. That's, I don't know how to play against Leo. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed, and I hope this was a little bit more insightful. Um, and again, I will be doing a part two, because like I said, one one video for Horong is just not enough, at least in the live match. And honestly, Horong is the type of character where you just, there's no amount of labbing that could like prepare you, honestly. Yeah, it could help, it could definitely help, but there's just so many different options that you just have to think of on the fly and it's like at that point do you learn the character just to learn how to beat him no no <laughs> so but yeah part two coming up soon um ooh, do i say it do i say it do i say it smash that like button subscribe i'm sorry i'm sorry everyone